Do I have your attention? Do you think I can hold it till the end of the video? This is the open challenge to everybody who has clicked on this video. Watch it till the end. Without increasing the speed, without fast forwarding, without opening anything else in the new tab. I promise to make it worth your while. For the record, I don't think you'll be able to do it. But is me to mahari galti nahi hai. Well, at least not entirely. We live in a world of overstimulation. Every single thing is wanting or rather demanding your attention. Everybody wants to waste your time. Oh, you thought they were so nice and kind to provide you with all this entertainment for free? Babe, nothing in life is free. And if you're getting something for free, you are the product. They are making money off of you, off of your dreams and your attention and your life. And you're willingly throwing it all away. And the worst part is, you don't even realize it. Up until a few years ago, people had a lot of time just to themselves. To do their laundry, to do their chores, make food. This is what gave their brain a rest and some space to deal with the overwhelm of life. It is in these quiet, unseeming moments that magic happened. This is where new ideas are born and old emotions find their resolution. But nowadays, with the screens chained to our hand, it seems like we don't get a single second just for ourselves. Galti se bhi ek pal bhi khali nahi baithna hai. What if what's hidden under the surface tries to escape? What are you so afraid of? What are you running away from? Is it the fear of never achieving everything you have dreamt of, or is it the fear of achieving it? Do you even know what you want? Do you even know who you are? Or were they successful in making you stifle your dreams just so they could have another puppet to play with? Don't. Don't let them take it away from you. Don't let them take your life away from you. Don't let it control you. Don't be a slave to it. You have to take back the ownership of your own life. You have to realize your true potential. You have to go back to chasing your dreams, not the dreams that the world told you to compromise with, but the dreams that the eight-year-old you dreamt of. And no, any hacks or tips or tricks like making your phone grayscale or turning on D and D is not gonna work out. Not really, until and unless you have that fire within you. But for you to realize that fire within, you have to give your brain some space to breathe, instead of smothering it with content all the time. You have to feed it the oxygen that it needs to survive. If you're serious about nurturing that fire within you and getting your life back on track, I'm starting a 30 days screen time challenge: disconnect to reconnect. The objective: reducing your screen time to less than two hours per day. And that's two hours of everything, including watching videos, watching movies, listening to music, or even having the podcast on in the background. It doesn't cost any money, but it will cost you your commitment. And trust me, commitment is harder to find than money. The details are in the description below. Join at your own risk. Congrats, you have made it through my first challenge. Do you dare to accept the next one?